Today, with no audio, we're going to talk about Raven of the Inner Palace, Episode 5. So keep on watching. It's quite a uh, reality check episode for one of the uh, one of the supporting characters, but uh, we better not get ahead, get ahead of ourselves, guys, right? So, first order of business, the thumbnail. This is actually the final scene of the episode where Zuzwe started investigating on uh, on the ghost that haunt the Emperor. So her first stop was the, was this storehouse. She saw this huge map-like mural na katanaka display sa loob ng storehouse. So talaga nagtaas ako ano ito. And it seemed a little bit familiar for her. Pero by itself, ako curious ka eh. Why does a storehouse have this as this big of a map? So, with that in mind, we now get to the nitty gritty of the episode. Pace! It had a slow but somewhat enlightening pacing. Because, ang naging focal point ng episode na to ay si King. Believe it or not, guys. So, if it weren't for um, the slow pacing of this episode, hindi natin ma matadigest ng mabuti kung anong klaseng character ito si King hindi natin uh, hindi natin siya makikilatis ng gusto wow he said one of the most troubled past I've seen in an anime it's the kind of troubled past you would see in a borderline hentai yeah throw them on first gear shift here was was when the Emperor okay King's proposal to investigate um this uh this mysterious sorcerer himself it's a bit of a no brainer of a gear shift guys kasi ganong kalaki ang tiwala ng emperor sa kanya well after all they're they they grew up together practically this gear shift will also tell you that um uh, king probably overstepped this uh his job function here kasi hindi naman niya Hindi naman niya for the pag-investiga sa mga supernatural things eh. That's the way that God sorts job. Is he out of his mind? <laughs> Alright? Well, practically, that's why I don't have a gear shift. It made me think. It made me deep dive. That's what gear shifts do, guys. Second gear shift was when King ran away from the red light district. No greater of a gear shift there again, folks. Bakit? Kasi, dito niya na-realize na, yeah, he, over, he might have overstepped his bounds. Naalala lang niya tuloy yung nakaraan niya. He actually came from this district. Personally, hindi ko lang kung sasabihan ko na gago itong si King or maawa pa ako eh. Right? So, yeah. Another gear shift that made me deep dive. Again, that's what gear shifts do. Final gear shift was, well, seeing the error of his ways, King himself now personally sought Zuzwe's help, the Raven Consort. Believe it or not, it's part of the post credit scene. Rarely does uh, a sequence in a post credit scene would, uh, would be deemed as a gear shift. Pero, I found this one really big. I found this to be a legit gear shift, guys. Kasi, well, aside from uh, realizing his, his mistake uh, before of um, personally uh, giving the Raven concert a piece of his mind, eh, nag, well, literally, nag, nag, nagpakumbaba siya rito. Reality check gear shift? Definitely. So, these three gear shifts that I saw, guys, Panawarin nyo lang ang tatlong gear shift na to. You completely get the episode. If you're, um, if you've been an, if you've been an anime fan for that long, that is. Okay? <laughs> Plotwise. Hmm. Planchado ang plot, guys. Well, 
basically there's a, there's a, there's quite uh, there's quite a long and profound backstory sequence here that totally explains King's origin. I couldn't cut that out. No, this is what this backstory sequence made King the photo character of this episode. He was he was the centerpiece of this episode because of that backstory. So to leave that out, yeah. Call me an idiot if I did. Right? So the the episode had a really well ironed out plot. Right? And well, you know for having Raven concert now, right? Although she is the main protag of this anime. Pero, um, through the well iron out plot, King uh, has just solidified himself as a um, as a really legit supporting character and a great compliment to the Emperor. Talagang, eh, wala ko masa, you, you, you can no longer question this guy's loyalty to the Emperor. And now, probably to the Raven Consort herself. That's what Iron Out plots do. To further... Uh, to further get light on a single character. So, base, flow, and plot... They just simply came together for this episode, folks. Further... Uh, well, further expounding on how much of a gem this anime is. So, Raven of the Inner Palace, Episode 5. Mm, no brainer. For my party shot, here it is. If you still haven't watched Raven of the Inner Palace, I strongly suggest you start watching it now. Because we're now nearing uh, we're now nearing the first half of its run. You better have that. You better get fooled by this anime, guys. Right? It just delivered another another really good episode. Although, hindi na focus sa sa main protagonist story okay? But still, it's a, it's it's an eye-opening episode. Yeah, even in even even in ancient even in ancient China, right, there was such a thing as yeah, <clears throat> child trafficking. Sorry. So again. Raven of the Inner Palace, Episode 5 Tudor Jam!